Let's open the block FC1 with a double click. Drop down the Move folder. To transfer data from one location to another, you use the Move command. When you know a command's name, you can use the empty box to insert it into the code quickly without having to locate it in the programming catalog. On the shortcut bar, the empty box is the one with the two question marks. With the network highlighted, click the empty box button. Type out the word move and press the enter key. The empty box then becomes the move command. Let's insert another network. Right click on network one and choose insert network. Drop down the timers folder in the programming catalog. All the standard timers begin with an S followed by an underscore. Let's add a pulse timer by using the empty box. A second way to add an empty box to a network is to right click on the network and choose empty box. Begin typing S underscore P. The extended pulse and pulse timer come into view. Double click on the pulse timer. The empty box now becomes a pulse timer. Let's add another network. Drop down the Libraries tab. Drop down Standard Library. Drop down System Function Blocks folder. System Functions, or SFCs, and System Function Blocks, or SFBs, are burned into this CPU's ROM. The empty box will also locate these type blocks. Right click on Network 3 and insert an empty box. SFB4 is an IEC on delay timer. In the empty box, type SFB4 and press the Enter key. You can use the empty box for programming catalog elements, SFC or SFB calls, and user block calls. The empty box will not find FC or FB library blocks in the other library folders. You have seen how to insert an empty box from the shortcut bar and with the right click context menu. This is a great tool for inserting program elements quickly if you know their name. Using the empty box for user block calls is demonstrated in the video Methods to Call a Subroutine in Ladder. And that concludes this video.